how Meghan Markle put a lot of thought into Prince Harry's birthday present. Prince Harry's 34th birthday was extra special this year, as it marked his first as a married man. And with his wife the Duchess of Sussex to mark his big day with him, the royal couple enjoyed celebrating in private. While we don't know what Meghan bought Harry, we do know that she would have put a lot of thought into his presence. In an unearthed post from her now closed down blog, The Tig, Meghan wrote about how she goes about finding the perfect gift. It's easy to grab another t-shirt for your man, but you'll likely steal it for PJs anyway, she said. Instead, give him something creative that he'll actually enjoy. It certainly goes to show what a difference a year makes, as this time last year Harry and Meghan hadn't even made their first public appearance together. The pair did so soon after though at the Invictus Games in Toronto in September last year. It's been a whirlwind 12 months for both Harry and Meghan, who then announced their engagement in November, and tied the knot in a star-studded royal wedding in May, attended by everyone from the Queen to the Beckhams. The royal couple were last seen out together at a charity gala last Thursday, 100 Days to Peace, which marked the end of the First World War hosted at Central Hall Westminster. The couple turned heads upon their arrival at the charity gala, with Meghan dressed to impress in a navy Jason Wu shift dress, following on from the power Alto's rasuit she wore at the Well Child Awards a few days before. The one-off concert was an evening of music and reflection in aid of three charities working to support military veterans facing mental health challenges, help for heroes, combat stress and heads together. The campaign run by Prince Harry and Meghan alongside the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. While it is back to work as usual for Harry and Meghan now, with their tour of Australia commencing next month, the couple did enjoy a few weeks off over the summer. This included a secret break with Meghan's mum Doria Ragland at their Oxfordshire home, as well as a trip to the Castle of May with Prince Charles. Meghan also went to Toronto to see her good friend Jessica Moroni and her family, while Harry went to one of his favorite places in the world, Botswana. To finish off their time off, the royal couple reunited in Lake Como, Italy, where they spent time with their A-list friends Amal and George Clooney, and their twins Alexander and Ella.